Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to be reacting to what is God's Sadhguru. So, my answer to that, God is something that humans created because we fear death. We do not know what it is in the afterlife. So in order for us to comfort ourselves, we create, we created God as a way to comfort people who are dying and a comfort to people who are going to die regardless of the age um, I think and for some people it is a way of controlling people actually too but oh, well there's actually a lot has oh, God is also a way of explaining our origin you know we I guess in humanity we see that we are created human beings are created when human beings do the dirty work <laughs> so and in, in that assumption we assume that we were also created the same way because it's kind of weird to say we just popped into existence and then ta-da you know all right i think i answered the question let's see what he has to say i've not watched this any of them i will always react to them first time i try to as much as possible the soul is sacred for people the body is filthy how is it possible <laughs> yes that's what we've been doing, isn't it so? Saying God is sacred, creation is filthy. How is it possible? Your very, the very thought of God occurred to you only because you saw creation, isn't it? When you were born and you opened your eyes, you looked around, so much creation. Before you came here, so much has happened. Obviously, you did not create it. So you thought, there must be a creator. Mm -hmm. This is how you come to the creator, isn't it? Yeah. The moment you thought there must be a creator, because you're in a human form, you thought it must be a big man. A small man like me cannot do all this. It must be a big man. Just two hands, how can it do so much creation? Must be eight hands. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Eight hands will help a lot, you know? Even a third arm would help a lot with doing stuff around the house. Isn't it so? If you were a buffalo, you would be really thinking, God is a huge buffalo. <laughs> Isn't it so? Yes or no? <laughs> you go and ask a buffalo and see. A buffalo will insist, God is a huge buffalo, maybe four, maybe horns. four horns. <laughs> <laughs> you know Idi Amin? You heard of Idi Amin? The Uganda man? Idi Amin declared, God is black. I agree with him. If a white man can have a white God, I hate reading ahead. why can't a black man have a black God? But both those people are confused. We know God is brown. <laughs> wow. I know, I know some religious people say God is not, has no physical form. It's a form of energy. That way it's not a man God or a woman God or a white brown God or black God or whatever. I like them. I like the joke. That's good. <laughs> Because he visited us, you know. <laughs> Some time ago, I was talking to a group of people in Nashville, in Tennessee, and I was telling them a joke. Oh, in the joke, I just referred to God as Him. Immediately a few ladies stood up. Do you believe God is a man? I knew where it's going. I said, uh. see, I <laughs> see, I'm only telling you a joke. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You said him. Do you believe God is a man? They take the jokes very seriously. <laughs> no. There are some people who do just can't take a joke though. And those are probably those uh, people he's talking about. Now women are arguing, God could be a woman. 
such problems exist only in those cultures in mm. india we have man god we have woman god we have cow god we have monkey god we have <laughs> everything every kind crawling one creeping one flying one because we foresaw all the problems of the future <laughs> See, when man was the most powerful force on the planet, man was naturally God. Now women are also gaining in their power, so women are questioning, why, why can't it be a woman? So tomorrow suppose dogs gain lot of power which they're gaining. So dogs will ask, why not a dog God? Actually the spelling also is close, you know. He seemed to be closer than you. <laughs> so your idea of God is just an, ex an exaggerated version of yourself, isn't it? Your idea of God is just an exaggerated version of yourself. See, you are still not able to define yourself, isn't it? Whatever definition you put on yourself is not correct. I try not to put a definition on myself. I will say I may be certain things, but I will not I will always reserve the definition of myself to be of what other people say. It's not to say that I don't have a defining self. I am who I am, but how people see me is how people see me, and that is their definition of who I am. I can say I'm kind, but you know, if uh, kindness to one person may not be kindness to another so that's why I say I cannot put a hard definition on me I can say certain things that I like to be whether I am that to that person or not it's up to them any kind of definition you put on you it is not enough mm. to describe this one mm. and this small piece of creation is like this the source of creation how are you going to put a definition on it you cannot define it you cannot understand it you can only dissolve into it. You can experience it. You can never know it. You can't make knowledge out of it. Whatever you knowledge have knowledge you have about God is just pure nonsense, cultural nonsense. Depending upon which kind of culture you are in, that kind of God you have, isn't it? It can only be experienced. Experience does not mean you can eat it or you can grasp it. No. You can experience only by dissolving in it. There is no other way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay. we are just looking for methods of dissolution so that we can experience something far bigger than ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, okay, I like that last part. Yes, absolutely. Basically, it's saying, I think, at the end there, it's basically in whatever culture you're born in, there's going to be a major religion there and you cannot change that you cannot because it's just so ingrained the only thing you can do is just be part of it basically dissolve who you are and accept the culture and be basically be if the if the religion or culture is a pull and you're against it you stand out and then when you accept it you blend in you basically dissolve to be part of this big culture or pool of people i think that's what he's saying there that's how i understood it let me know if I'm wrong or right. But yeah, what is God? Oh man, dude. <laughs> I love sad guru's jokes. They may be corny to some people, but that's my kind of jokes. I swear, if he's he does comedian, I would absolutely love it. Because his jokes are my type of jokes, and I love his jokes. But they make sense too, and, and the perfect examples and exactly what people think. You know, it is true that, you know, men... Are, because men are generally physically stronger, biologically speaking, that they've always seen, and they've always, they've had power. <clears throat> it's usually the rich, though. Uh, not all men have power. The poor men were slaves to the richer men, and to the rich, richer people, actually. But anyways, um, yeah, so because of that, men have power, the rich men have power, they've always seen God to be an image of themselves. And that they believe that God is like, oh, God is favoring me over everyone else. So, and then when they came up with the dog and the cow, oh, yes, absolutely. Probably, you know, if, they, you know, I wonder if, I wonder if dogs even think that way. <laughs> well, anyways, that is my reaction to what is God by Sadhguru. 
love the guy absolutely always have loved the guy anyways that's my reaction to it if you like my content please consider subscribing thumbs up thumbs down down below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next vid